Hello Pisces, welcome to May 4th, uh, weekly card reading. I am Chris, and um, I'm going to just read your cards for this week. And, uh, you know, looking like a very good week um, as a Pisces myself, I feel, I definitely feel a lot of this. So, the first card we have here is the Eight of Hearts, which is, you know, this is like good stuff coming in it's not necessarily love but it's like loving like from friendship um you know it's like hanging out with your friends it's like being invited out with your friends just going having a good time being able to just kind of relax and you know i know a lot of pisces myself and plus i am a pisces and i know what a difficult time pisces has had recently so maybe you haven't been going out you haven't been feeling yourself you haven't been feeling like going out your emotions have probably been you know up and down for the past like i don't know like eight years i feel like i feel like pisces has had a very very challenging um you know eight like good a good amount of time for a very long time i think if you think back really far you've probably been actually revisiting some of the same challenges which definitely comes up later but we'll we'll get into that but i feel like maybe you know recently uh, you know not recently but within the past few years you know maybe like you know up until eight, 10 years ago you had like a challenge and then you had little challenges all along the way and then within like the last year or two that that same type of challenge has maybe shown up for you and it's really kind of sucked the sucked the life right out of you well this card is encouraging you to to go out have fun and get that life back that you once had it's time for pisces to have fun it's time for pisces to you know go out and have a good time like i said we've had it so tough i think we've you know, a lot of Pisces have, if we had shells, we would have crawled into shells. Maybe we're hiding in our underwater caves or something like that. That's, you know, so this card is saying, go out, have fun. Next card. And this is a very positive reading. So, you know, this is my favorite card. I say it every time I get it. Um, you know, it, it, it's like, this is like wealth. This is money coming in for us. And it might not be right away, but it's definitely on, it's definitely on its way. It's like saying that you're... You're definitely on the right path. You're you're definitely headed down the right path finally. Chances are, as a Pisces, you've probably been jumping around from idea to idea, idea maybe to job to job to job, to person to person to person. You know, it's It's been kind of like scattered, if you will. So I think there's some stability coming in. This is like sudden. This is like money coming in. You know, the, the clubs can be very sudden. You know, when you think about it, they call it, a, you know, a club just, it strikes. And, you know, so it's like all of a sudden, boom, you, you, you know, you, you hit it, you hit something. And it's definitely, it's like a gain, you know, you're gaining money. I, you know, I know, I mean, like I said, I know a lot of Pisces. I know a situation that you've been in. You've probably been just, money's just been kind of just seeming to just float away. And uh, so money is finally coming back. The next cards, I, I kind of almost want to, I, I almost want to just group them all together. Um, you know, you have the three of diamonds, which is, you know, worry. It's you like worrying about money. And the worry is not, it's, it's, it's like unfounded it does it doesn't even exist like what you're worrying about doesn't exist again this is a very piscean type of trait to to over to over worry about situations that we don't need to worry about that don't even exist and you have the two of clubs um right after it and it's kind of like you know kind of the same thing two of clubs can represent obstacles but i always look at them as mental obstacles i always say that if you look at the club not only i i i say that it looks like a plant but every once in a while kind of what pops up in my head is actually a brain so you kind of have like the brain stem and the two lobes and I don't know what the part in the middle is, your your third eye, something like that. I don't know. But it always, like, every once in a while, this card pops up and then, boom, I get a flash of a brain in my brain. So it's a very mental card. So it's like these are these are mental things that you just, like, don't even need to worry about. And I, I, I don't think you... Um, 
you know, you need to worry about these things. It's funny that the Seven of Diamonds actually also popped out with that Three of Diamonds. The Seven of Diamonds is asking you to look at the positive. This is what this card literally... I think this is what its literal translation is, like what its literal meaning is. Uh, it, it's asking you to, you know, kind of... To be positive, look at your... You know, if you look at it, it almost looks like a cup. You know? How it, like, kind of looks like a cup. I'm going backwards here because my camera's inverted, but... Um, you know, it's like, look at your cup as being half full. It's asking you to be very positive. And it's, I mean, even at that, I mean, to me, it is saying that these things are mental, these worries. Like I said, as a Pisces, I, I get it. You know, I get worrying. You know, we've had it so tough for so long. It's it's very hard to, to change those behaviors when you're constantly having to be defensive or constantly having having to worry about not having enough and things like that. But again, honestly, I think it's going to be a great week because I think because of these two cards, those, it's like saying those worries are gone and they're only mental. They're only in your mind now. That's it. That's And the Seven of Diamonds, like I said, this is a very mental card. It's all, it's, it's saying it's just all in your mind. That's all. That's the only place that it exists. And, and the good times are here. So have a great week, Pisces. I appreciate um, all the feedback. I think you guys are like my one of my number one video likers and viewers, so I really appreciate that.